Lemonade Life interviews and today I've got the wonderful Denise Duffield Thomas with me here. Hi Denise, how are you doing? Hi, I'm so good. How are you? Good, I'm really good, thank you. And for anybody who doesn't know, Denise is the creator of Lucky Bitch, Get Rich Lucky Bitch. And I've got to say, Denise, I came across your book, I think it's about two years ago now, or coming up to two years ago, it might have been just after Christmas. And your book changed my life. <laughs> And I think it was that, you know, the, the occasional F-bomb in there helped me out because I, I giggled and it's like, oh, this woman gets me. And so I've always loved the fact that, you know, just simple language and techniques that really get to the heart changed my life and I know have changed many other people's lives as well. So thank you for that. Oh, absolutely. And I love the fact that you're changing so many people's lives with what you're doing right now. So I'm thrilled to, you know, to have contributed a little bit to your life. It's I great. I think you did a bit more than a little bit, love. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got four questions I'm going to ask you today. And I'm going to yeah. start off with, I think this one's an easy one for you, which is mm. what do you love about your life? No, it isn't necessarily an easy one. I had a look at it this morning and I thought, <sighs> freedom. Yeah, freedom, freedom, freedom. You know, the freedom that having a business um, brings, the freedom of being alive at this time in, in the world, you know, in yeah. this time in history for women. We have amazing opportunities to earn our own money um, and that brings with it, you know, a lot of stuff for, yeah. for us as women. Um, you know, freedom to create really what we want to, um, freedom to live in a country like Australia um, you know, we, I don't know if you've ever heard, but Australia is nicknamed the lucky country. I have heard this. Yeah. yeah which is we quite need to get a bit of that here in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, you know, the freedom to, to not have an alarm clock, although I do now, her name is Willow. <laughs> she is my alarm clock now, but you know, and just the freedom to, um, to help other women, to see what other women are up to in creating their own freedom. And, there's never been a better time to be a woman and be an entrepreneur. You know, we're very, very lucky. And I believe, you know, that female entrepreneurs like you and I, we are changing the planet, you know, and the network of women that we're a part of. We are increasing the abundance consciousness of the planet. And, you know, that's going to spread into other countries as well who might not be as lucky as we are in, in having the freedom and opportunities that we yeah. have as women. So, you know, I love that about my life. Freedom, freedom, it's freedom. Fabulous. freedom. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's interesting you say about this spread of the, the lucky in other countries because this evening I've watched a TV program where they said something about, it was, it was about how to be rich. And mm. part of it, they discussed what it's like in the UK and the fact that the UK in the whole of the world, if you are born poor, you are more likely to stay poor. In wow. the UK. And when I heard that, it's like, Denise, you need to come to the UK, which I know you are doing in February, but it's like, you need to come here more often, girl. You need to get people learning that they don't have to stay this way. They don't have to be poor. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, so is there something in particular in your life that you have turned around that you are so proud of? Well, I'm glad this is the second question because I didn't grow up rich and my family has never been rich. And there are times, like my mum was a single mum, she had me at 18, you know, and even though she didn't come from a poor family, she didn't come from a rich family, yeah. but we were yeah. we were sometimes really, really struggling when, when my mum was raising us. And I remember as a young kid, I heard her talking to a friend and she said, I just don't know what I'm going to feed them for dinner tonight. Oh, it's making me really emotional thinking about it. And I mean, my mum was my mum was absolutely lovely, and I'm really proud that I've broken that cycle. You know, my kids won't ever have that experience of hearing me say that. You know, what am I going to feed the kids? Oh my god! I can see how much that gets to you. Yeah. And um, I'm, you know, I'm really proud of that, and I'm really proud of um, my marriage. Like when Mark and I um, got together. You know, when he was 19, I was 23, and we would talk about, like, what's the legacy we want for our kids mm -hmm. and our family? And it was about breaking cycles that have come in, you know, in, in different parts of our families. Yeah. And, 
you know, we just had a baby this year and I just think, wow, we've, we really have broken that cycle yeah. Yeah. and we're going to have a completely different legacy for our future generations. And that brings with it its own challenges, right? You know, what do you say to your kids if um, I can't afford it is not true anymore? So yeah. it's a new, like, new experience. It's like, oh, lucky bitch problems, you know, as we <laughs> say in the, in the money boot camp. But, you know, I'm, I'm super proud of that and I'm... Um, I know I'm up for the challenge of, of what that means going forward. How do yeah. you create kids that appreciate um, money? And also, how do you create children who aren't going to be spoiled brats, to be honest? They can have everything they want. And how do you raise them with a, an appreciation for forgiving and philanthropy mm-hmm. and all that kind of other stuff? So, um, you know, I feel, and, and also we're the first ones with our name, with Duffield Thomas, because yeah. I was Thomas and he was Duffield. And so, we really are creating this new family legacy and I want my, you know, great, 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 great grandchildren to know me and to know um, my name and to be proud of my accomplishments. Isn't that fabulous to think ahead all those generations that there's somebody who can look back and say we are the people we are today because of Denise Duffield Thomas. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, I'm a futurist. That's one of my strengths from Strength Finder, And, yeah, from... You know, Mark and I getting together such a long time ago, we already had the spark of that vision for our lives and we don't know how it's going to look but, you know, we know that's really important for us. We've, it's always been, you know, building a legacy is, is something that we've built our marriage on, our relationship on. Yeah. I think that's a fabulous foundation stone. It's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> so what do you use to help people, to help you rather get through the bad days, the tough weeks? Because I know even as a lucky bitch... I know that you are still a human being. <laughs> you still yeah. have human things happen to you where things don't necessarily go right. So what is it that you use personally for you to help you get through those tough days? Absolutely. And I think that's important to say as well that nobody's life is perfect. And I try and talk about my life and my, my own personal challenges and struggles as much as possible because um, it is important to know that nobody's life is perfect and perfection is not the goal you know, perfection in your finances or in your life is is never the goal. And sometimes we can block ourselves from receiving amazing yeah. things in our life because we think we have to be perfect. So um, I'll be really honest, something that comes up for me a lot is a feeling of undeserving. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, Zoe, you're really like getting me emotional. I am today, aren't I? <laughs> I'll send you some <laughs> tissues. <laughs> Thank you. And it came up for me yesterday and last night and Mark came home and he was like, what's wrong? And I just said, I just feel like I just don't feel good in myself. And sometimes it comes up for me this feeling of like, who am I to have such an amazing life? Oh, wow. Who am I to have such an amazing life? And when it comes up for me, I know that I have to do some more self-forgiveness and self-love. That's the thing that's really completely changed my life. Um, you know, even as a little kid, not as a little kid, I remember being a teenager and it's something as small as standing in line to buy a drink, you know, or to, to order something. And I would stand there and, and I'd re- rehearse in my head what I was going to ask for, you know. Oh, I, was like, no, I remember okay. that feeling. You know, yeah, and I, because I was so, just felt so unworthy all the time of just being a normal person, doing normal things, having self-love, you know, just being normal. And I think a lot of us yeah. think that we are broken, you know, that everyone else has got it together but we are unworthy and we are broken. And so yeah. that comes up for me regularly. And for that, you know, I, I um, two things really help for me. One is having a really strong lady mafia um, of women who have my back, who I can be vulnerable with, who I can say, like, you know, this is going on for me and they they understand and they, they help me remember um who I am and, you know, just to be kind and gentle to myself. I think everyone kind of needs that. And the other thing is just um, practicing self, self self-love in whatever form that takes. Mm. For me, Mm. that's um, emotional freedom technique is really important because the whole mantra of that is, you know, no matter what's going on for me, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And it's such an important lesson to learn, you know, and Louise Hay talks about the fact that self-love and self-acceptance can change your life and I think um, I wish it 
you got to a point where you just could tick that off. But I know for me and for a lot of people, it's a regular practice. Yep. It's you know, hygiene, like brushing your teeth. Yep. Um, yep. And, you know, I'm lucky that I haven't experienced any, you know, serious, real serious deep depression or, you know, huge problems like that. I'm just kind of, you know, I just have normal everyday problems. But I think I think so much, um, so many problems that, that women face can be largely solved by lots of, um, self-love and acceptance mm-hmm. yeah and as you say emotional freedom technique I'd actually come across that many years ago mm. and I'd actually come across it related to dieting and for some oh, reason yeah. assumed you only used it for dieting so I never tried it with anything else until uh, I can't remember whether you I think you must have a, a webinar that's got it on or something um, and you were using it and showing the technique and it's like oh so I can use it for anything <laughs> anything I mean I teach it in the money boot camp but I've used it myself for so many like habits you know so many different things and um, the thing that's really helping me at the moment too is the mantra of it's safe you know it's safe for me to experience this that's been a real life-changing thing as well because I think for a lot of us women a lot of our problems come down the fact that we don't feel safe Mm. you know Mm. it's not safe to be successful it's not safe to be attractive it's not safe to um, to be vulnerable and that lives in us, you know, yes. it lives in us yeah. from a generational thing as well. You know, it wasn't safe for um, even just a few generations ago for women to be outspoken or to, you know, to be bossy or to work for themselves or, mm. you know, you don't have to go back that many generations for women to have been killed for, yeah. you know, yeah. for being outspoken. So, um, well, and sadly, in some countries, safe. it's still the case as well. Absolutely. You know, our sisters in, in many countries, it's not safe for them to have freedom that we yeah. do. So right. that's that's helped a lot. Yeah. Brilliant. And I'm sorry that I keep bringing you to tears. I definitely need to bring you some tissues when I see you in February. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. I actually, I'm sure I've got tissues around here that have got money on them. <laughs> I do, they're, they're in the cupboard. <laughs> I've got some serviettes for Christmas that have £50 notes printed on them. <laughs> I love <Yeah>. those. <laughs> so one more question. If you had a bit of advice for someone who's having a tough time right now, what would that be? Yeah, it's it's the message that you aren't broken. You know, you might be flawed, you're a human being, but that's the business of being human yeah. is to yeah. remember um to remember that it's it's about self-love and acceptance yeah. and it's okay for you to not be perfect but you aren't fundamentally flawed you're just human <laughs> <laughs> and I actually love the mantras that you post on Instagram and Facebook and everywhere that it's okay to and it's safe to I love those because some of them I mean they're so simple but some days it's like gosh that's a biggie for me <laughs> and there are days where it's it's kind of like I'm winded from reading a short sentence of you writing, it's okay to, you know, mm. it's okay to love money. And that was yeah. that was a big one for me. One day when you wrote, I think it was words to that effect, and it's like, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. So I love those yeah. little mantras of yours. So tell us a little bit about your Get Rich Lucky Bitch boot camp, so that everybody out there who doesn't yet know you, and I can't believe there's anybody who doesn't know you, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> But anyone who doesn't, so that they can find out a bit about the work you do. Sure. So this whole feeling of complete love and self-acceptance, you know, I could have taken it into a lot of different areas in my career and I, I felt a real calling to take it into money mm. purely because I thought, you know, this is this is something that women really, really need. And, you know, it was a calling that I did not want to take, I have to admit. You know, I was, I was like, universe, don't make – no, I don't want to be the money girl. Choose someone else. And, and here you are, the money girl. <laughs> here I am. And I love it now because I gave myself permission. This is really important for entrepreneurs. I gave myself permission to spread my message in the way that, that resonated for me, not f- thinking that I had to be perfect. I didn't have to be Oprah. You know, we all can spread our message in the, in the way that resonates with, with us. We've all, we all play a part in, in, you know, in that, whether it's money, weight loss, you know, whatever it is. So I decided to, to work on money because I really wanted to help women heal their stuff around money. You know, I, I realized that when I got out of the corporate world, you know, that wage gap is re- it's real in the entrepreneurial world just as yeah. much as it is in the corporate world and we can't blame our bosses yeah. when we're our own bosses. <laughs> exactly. 
you know, how much did your boss pay you this year? Oh, she forgot to. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, we have to ask for the sale and we have to set our own prices and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And I know that brings up a crap load of stuff for women. So the work that I do with my book, Get Rich Like a Bitch, and my money boot camp is all about helping women with that stuff around money, yeah. making it easy for easier I'm not saying it's ever going to be super super easy all the time making it easier for us to earn money to have that freedom around our businesses to charge beautifully for what we do um, you know and because and you've seen this in your own work as well when you charge well for what you do you give other women permission to do the same thing um, you know it, it affects your clients it affects your suppliers it affects your community your family and that raises the abundance consciousness of the planet. Um, so, you know, the money, the money boot camp is one of those tools for women to, to deal with their money stuff, but also to be in a community of women who are doing the same thing, you know, not the same thing as in career, but who are in that conversation around money where it's safe to earn great money and it's, it's safe to create a life that you love, you know, and it's not about necessarily being a millionaire because not everyone has that goal. Um, some days I question myself, you know, is that is that a goal I want to do? And actually, in all transparency, it's a goal I'm going for next year to to do a turnover of a million dollars. Which yes, like, it out loud. But it's like, oh, you know, let it's, us know when um, you do it. We'll all get the champagne out in our own homes. <laughs> and toast absolutely. You. you know what, Zoe? It's a mental thing. Because I could have made it this year, you know, hustling or, you know, adding things that people were asking me yeah, for. But yeah. it's a total mental game as, as much as anything else. So, you know. This has also been a very important year for you as a mum. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just had a baby. Yeah. In February. <laughs> Let's <laughs> you know, not forget that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think it's it's wonderful to be in conversation with women around money, and that's that's um, what I've been really humbled and blessed to be able to create. Um, you know, I don't think I'm the money person. I'm one of the people who are in this conversation around money, and I love it. So, you know, yeah. if anyone listening, um, just come to my site, luckybitch.com. You can get a free chapter of my book. You can check out some of the resources, but just start to be in the conversation around money and and you know things can be very different for you in the next year if you make friends with money and it doesn't have to be a perfect friendship you know but just going just a little bit further in in receiving money for what you do it can change the world can change the planet as well as the community that you've created <laughs> with the lucky bitch boot camp i haven't come across anywhere else that has got that camaraderie that mm. strength of support and the willingness to help each other when people have a down day, as well as celebrate the successes when people have an up day, there is nowhere else that I know of that has a community like the community you've created. It's beautiful. And I'm, it's beautiful. I'm really happy and blessed. And also, you know what, I'm a really reluctant leader, Zoe. I don't know if you... <laughs> I am. I've always been the person who's been like, don't look at me. I'm not... I'm not going to lead, you know, I'm yeah. I'm not even a follower. I'm kind of like an introvert by myself. I'm like, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. I want to <laughs> sit over here and read my book in private. And, um, you know, it's it, that's why it's definitely been a calling around the money stuff. Mm. But it's also, you know, it's, again, that whole thing about you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be a big extrovert to make lots of money. You don't have to be a particular anything to to make the money that you want you can be exactly how you want to be and money just amplifies that it doesn't change who you are at all so people can find out more on luckybitch.com and sign up for what i know is a really good program and i know that lots of other people well it's well over a thousand now isn't it have also been touched yeah. by the boot camp and i'm sure it's considerably more have been touched by your books as well Denise, thank you so much for joining us for the Lemonade Life interview. It's so fabulous talking with you. And um, yeah. I can't wait to give you that packet of tissues I now owe you in February. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank you, Zoe. Not many people can make me make me cry like that. So I appreciate it. And, you know, it's it's. I love what you're doing. You're, you. you know, you are such a leader. And um, it's it's great being able to talk to your, your peeps as well. So thank you. Thank you. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.